Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome back to more shenanigans from the Stink Bug Works. Yesterday, I talked about this little boat, and one of my viewers, who I shall call Jim for the sake of this discussion, because, in fact, his name is Jim. Anyway, he expressed interest in this old retired hall, and I said, you can have it for the cost of shipping. So I um, went online to the post office, and I ordered some shipping boxes, so it'll be a day or two, and then there's a warning, oh, due to the weather and such, you know, shipping takes even longer. So, Jim, I'm going to get this out to you, but uh, <laughs> expect delays in the mail, but it's going out. And... Today's topic of discussion is the box of retired halls. Now, I am about to show you yet another unicorn. <laughs> this is a micro hydro from Blue Bayou Boatworks. That's Randy Naylor. And, uh, Randy's still around. I think he's getting involved with large-scale drag boats. Um, but uh, he produced these kits for a while. And I have one in a case that I built. And I'm looking around the shop here, and I don't see that particular case. It may be upstairs in a closet. So let me show you what I have here. You're going to like the... Oh, why? Are there two two different cowls? Up, oh, up! Oh, it's partially started. So I have another one built. This one it has a broken right here, but you know that's real easy to fix. This was set up for a little motor like this, running a straight shaft, and in this case, it has a carbon fiber shaft that has been bored out to fit ball bearings and so the plan would be to use a motor of this size and kv and a two millimeter shaft running on a couple of bearings out here and uh, two millimeter shafts to four millimeter threaded are easy enough to find they're plenty easy to find they're everywhere so if anybody would like and you can see I started on this project, and I kind of got to here and said, eh, that looks kind of rough. We'll see. You know, so the whole plan was, you know, this this all get filled in here. And my, my built one is all blueprinted and such. And it actually runs pretty good with just a little nothing motor. So um, here's today's deal. Jim, you can't win twice. <laughs> <laughs> you can't win twice in one month. So for anybody that wants this little haul, now check this out. This is the old shoebox construction. This is how we built boats back then. But uh, once this thing's glued together, this bracing really stiffens the thing up. They were kind of flimsy beforehand, but once they're, they're stiffened up, they're uh, they're actually good running little boats. They've got a really shallow tunnel. Look how shallow he made this. So he doesn't pack a lot of air under here. So you can get a lot of speed without worrying about going. And to top it off, you get a choice of an old style, you know, piston hatch or... A new style turbine hatch or two. Cost of shipping, it's yours. You don't get this. You get that and that. If you go with the turbine hydro, you need to make a deck sheet, but that's easy enough. And in fact, the way I have mine set up, I tape down a flat deck sheet that's got a little bubble here for the motor. And then this is decorative and just kind of goes over it. And in fact, so I cut some holes here and painted it up kind of cool and such. So there you go. 
lastly, let's talk about tools. Tools. What are some of the tools you need? Some of the tools you need, I don't see right in front of me at this very moment. I'm looking for fingernail clippers, but I can't see them. Okay, let's talk about, let's talk about Allen wrenches. Allen wrenches come with all sorts of stuff. You know, uh, uh, couplers and anything that has a grub screw, they give you this free Allen screw. Well, it's not, or Allen wrench, it's not really an Allen wrench. It's a grub screw hole rounding device. You put this in the grub screw and you turn it and you round out the hole in the grub screw. What used to have six sides will now be a nice circular hole and you can do that to all your grub screws. These things are crap. If you're gonna be doing any boating, any RC, anything, invest in quality Allen wrenches. You know, these ones that come on a, a handle that are, are nitrite treated, the tolerances are really good, the corners are really sharp, the, the metal is really hard, they get in there and rather than rounding off the, the grub screw, they just grab hold of it and turn it. So, Dr. Jet's tool tip for the day. If you're going to be using grub screws, spend the money. I, I mean, you can a set costs you like 15 or 20 bucks of really good wrenches, but it's worth it. Because the one time you'll be at the pond and you go, oh, I got to get that drive dog out. Oh, crap. Oh, no. You know, you, you don't want to go there. Good quality Allen wrenches. There you go. Until next time, jet out.